has great weight, and so that will counteract if if God is telling you to give in a, in a different moment uh, in the future, and you say, I ain't going to give, because you know that's a voice. Okay, this is going to speak for me later on. You can replay it and call it back. Well, Lord, I was obedient to you. You're in the court. It says, once the legal rights are resolved and the devil's rights are revoked, God is free to function without repentance. God's hands are tied. So we repent and we go through the voices. We go through the voices legally to get to resolve it and to get get the enemy's rights revoked. That, that's all he wants to do. He just wants to, uh, he wants to be what his title is, the accuser of the brethren. And we don't want to give him anything to accuse us of. We want to go back generations and we want to go back in our bloodline. Whatever it is, we want to be guilty, found guilty of repenting. And then another great part of uh, the voice is it says, we are to ascend, ascend. And if you think about a battle, if you are in the, the hot, if you are in the hot peak of that uh, battleground and, and your, uh, the people that are coming against you are low, you have a greater advantage because you can see. And so the strategy is going to give you an advantage we want an advantage on the enemy. It says when we are ascended up, we can see, we can have clarity, we can have vision. Okay, the 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 enemy, the, the scripture tells us to redirect our position. If we have been low, that's putting your head down low. If we have not been doing anything, reposition, reposition yourselves mentally, spiritually. Reposition yourself. It says, leave where we are and move. <laughs> move to the higher ground. Move to a higher place. You know, you remember the song, I'm moving up a little higher. You, have, We have to move up. We have to move. We're we trying to get strategy to defeat and plummet and cause the enemy to say, okay, I'm not going to mess with, with her or anybody that she's birthed. I, anybody that's connected to her, even we learned that that we we have authority to pray and to remove things that happen in our family. That's her and her children, her and her husband. And your finances, okay, your finances is including you because that's what's going to protect you. That's what's covering you. And if you are not having, if your financial need is not being met, that means you are struggling, which means you will probably be sad or depressed. It's like the enemy is winning. But we want to default the enemy. And we want to defeat the enemy at this hour, at this time. We don't want to go on struggling like, oh, uh, I'm going to get somebody to pray for me. No, he's, he's giving us, we already had the authority. He's giving us a strategy to go in and get it. Okay? We must come to Mount Zion. We have to. And Mount Zion, you, we got to come higher. We have to come higher. It, it's not about, uh, you know, my pastor is coming higher, uh, somebody at my church or my, my mentor is coming higher, so that's good. No, no. We individually have to come higher. We individually were all created like the, the whole message of the Cassandra Scott prayer line. We were created to produce. So it, since we were created to produce, we got to come higher. We got to come higher. If we are low, the enemy, the enemy can battle us so hard and plummet us so hard. He causes many to, to uh, give give up on, on their destiny, give up on their vision, give up on their purpose. To, to uh, they're, they're aborting, they're or miscarrying their, their baby, their purpose. But if you come up higher, the enemy cannot reach you. I'm thinking about uh, uh, eagle, okay? An uh, eagle will take it, it, its prey so far in the air. Guess what? They lose air. They can't breathe. That's why he wants us to ascend, to go so high that the enemy cannot breathe. And if he can't even think, if he was thinking something negative, he can't say what he was thinking because he cannot speak in that altitude. Mount Zion is a place where we hear God. Voice. And many, many, many times when we come to God to pray, we will just 
need this and God, I need this and and Lord, I need you to fix this and Lord, I need you to move this mountain and Lord, I need. Okay, are you gonna be quiet and listen to what I have to tell you? Okay, that that's how communication goes. It doesn't go with one person just renting off to somebody else's ear. Do you want a solution? Do you want a solution to your to your situation? And and that's what. The, the hearing God is the solution. What, what is the Father going to tell me? I have to get in that place. I have to get in that place. If, if you're driving to your job, you're by yourself. You're in your car by yourself. Nobody is there to distract you. Cut the radio off. Hear God. When you're driving back on your lunch break, don't worry about eating. Go to your car. Go to the restroom. Hear God. What is he saying? When you put the kids to sleep, when you put your husband or your wife to sleep, hear God. You have to, we have to get in that place where we can hear our father. If we are the bride, okay, if we are the bride, what what type of relationship would there be if the bride is never intimate with her groom? Listen, what type of relationship, you know, I'm just walking around, you're walking around in, in, in the heels and in lingerie, but you never consummate? What is that? What is that? Somebody is going to be angry. Okay, it says the place where the law is given. We need to go to the place where the law is given. We need to go to Mount Zion. Stay in a place of worship because it yields God the rod of strength through against our enemies. That's where we get our strength. You know the song, strength will rise as we wait upon the Lord. As we wait upon the Lord in his course, he's going to infuse us. He's going to give us the strength that we need. He's going to give us the strategy that we need in order to defeat our enemies, okay? Our enemies, I love this. I read this in the book and I had to highlight. Our enemies are his enemies. I'll say it again. Our enemies are his enemies. So whatever, if it's an enemy of fear, if it's an enemy of defeat, if it's an enemy of anger, if it's an enemy of sorrow, that's his enemy too. He's not going to allow his child to just go, oh, well, that's my child. But, but the, the angels are saying, can, can you please, can you please say something so we can get to work? We want to join in and, and do what you're saying, but you're not saying anything. Then it says, out of his presence, listen, listen, out of his presence is governmental authority. Out, when you come out, you have governmental authority. I thought about uh, Deborah. I was reading uh, the, uh, the Deborah anointing. And uh, even though Although she was a judge, she was a prophet, and she didn't put her her title as far as being the judge over that. She, hey, what is God saying about the matter? And then whatever God is saying, then I'll come down and speak to the people. And that's what God wants us to do. doesn't matter what title or position you have here on the earth. He wants you to go to him to get whatever instructions you need. And then it says governmental authority. That's one of the mountains. We're supposed to be on the mountains and we're in the valley because we're not using our authority. It says understand that we, the church, have already been divinely positioned to have authority. We're, we're, we're already in that position. We need to use it. We need to use it. We need to use it. Okay, the mountain represents the government authority, seen and unseen. In um, Matthew 25 and 31, it says, When the Son of Man appeared in his majestic glory with all of his angels by his side, he shall take his seat on the throne of splendor. And that tells us that we are commissioned to be disciples. Like, as we, as you don't, we, we should not, and, and this is how I am. I'm not going to give her information and just say, well, it's just for me and I just want to grow. Well, if if we are a family and we are all the king's kids, 
I'm gonna share. I I don't do. I want to keep it all for myself. I don't do that. How is the kingdom gonna be expanded? How is the territory gonna be enlarged if you are keeping your mouth shut and not sharing it? You have to share. That's that's how we colonize Earth. That's how we colonize by sharing, by speaking. And so, um, I'm gonna uh, pray quickly. But our role is to read. The word for revelation. Thank you so much for tuning in, Kingdom Matters. Until next time, stay in the garden.